Water is an integral element to making our cities livable. Technology is a key enabler to maintaining and enhancing the livability. We're here today to really explore the barriers, the opportunities and the pathways to delivering technologies that will enable us to have cleaner, more sustainable outcomes. Welcome to this Innovation Interchange event, Pathways to Clean Technology in Water Systems. Some of the most significant and profound changes to our industry has been from having a different viewpoint. There's a lot of opportunities, particularly around integrated water cycle management. In Western Water we've got quite a bit of greenfields um, development planning um, and really building in through that planning process integrated water cycle management, um, resource recovery um, and really reusing those resources to the maximum ability. Clean technology isn't what it is. Clean technology is what it does. We tried to come up with what we thought the biggest possible market for membranes was in the world. Where we are today is something like a hundred times bigger than what we, 25 years ago, thought was where things could possibly be. There was nobody thought that we were going to be doing the stuff with membranes then that we're doing now. Opportunities are abundant. I mean, we don't have to throw out everything that we've got. I mean, part of being clever about what we do is adapting and finding additional value in the infrastructure that we all already have. New technologies that have been introduced to the urban water systems over the last hundred years have been very evolutionary rather than revolutionary. The industry is quite conservative and it needs to be because it's dealing with public health. One thing that we've used quite successfully is wetlands and I was surprised to hear Greg to say that the first wetland was done in 1992 in this state and I thought wow it's, it's a new technology but that's quite old and I think there's a lot of scope to use wetlands to take out nutrients and salts out of um, process waste and clean it up in a, a natural and elegant type of way. It's, it's new ways of putting or integrating um, some of the technologies we've got and I would argue that the integration is a new technology. How do you manage a community with differing expectations moving to the future? So water infrastructures are mainly a long-term infrastructure. So whatever we make a decision now should be able to be modified, adapted and used for the future generation. We could be developing better processes where when people are coming up with these smart widgets and gadgets that there's a, a more easier interface for technology providers to actually get themselves in the door have to be able to take risks and you can't just say here's the technology, you actually then have to, you really have to get out and engage with people to get that technology adopted. We need to find ways of connecting better with providers of technology and helping them to understand where we're trying to get to and to draw on their expertise to actually help us change where we're trying to get to. The challenge is getting the technology uh, providers you know, to start dating yeah, with the water utility, so we have a meeting of the minds. We are all connecting to solve challenges. Trust is, is really important. You know, it takes a whole range of, of people with different skills within the sector to, to come up with a solution and to really effectively implement that solution. And I'd like to think that today, in bringing all of you together, um, we've, we've sort of gone one step closer to building some of those relationships and that trust to, to make things happen. In addition to face-to-face -face, uh, engagement like this morning, there's an interactive web portal which really facilitates sharing challenges and developing innovative solutions to those specific challenges. So I encourage you all to strengthen those useful connections that you've made here today through the Innovation Interchange or through other channels. Thank you.